Hey guys, welcome back. Um, before I get going, uh, I just want to say a couple things. Um, firstly, this track here, I didn't actually realise until watching back the video that I accidentally um, had the thing turned off. I had it like this. So you didn't actually hear these samples in the last track. So I'll, I'll quickly play them for you. Um, but it's basically this key. <laughs> Oops, never mind, but sorted now. Um, sometimes I accidentally click it and do it and drag it without realising. So that's a good tip for people. What's this up here for? I don't know. Ableton does some strange things sometimes. Anyway, before I get going, um, after posting this the, the last video, I whacked on Spotify on my little mono speaker. I've got a little jam to cheap speaker with a little sub bottom on the top so pretty good for mono checking your sort of stuff and it means when I go to reference other tracks it's all in mono and I ain't got to get fooled by the stereo so I brought up my Spotify um, yes it's crappier quality but I only really wanted to balance the volumes and before I started I quickly chucked on an EQ8 just get rid of the mud and Little rock pick up here. None of the didn't find any mud, and I hung on my limiter. Set release how I liked it, and I played the threshold until the volume was the same as Spotify. So when I flipped one to the other, I had a quite good volume match. And the first thing I noticed was my percussion was too quiet, my lead was a little bit too quiet, and my bass was a bit too loud. So I turned my bass down a touch, only like a 1.2 dB, nothing dramatic. So I just went down a tiny bit. Um, I turned this one up to nine, up a few decibels. And this is what it's like now. <laughs> Slightly better, bass is better for you. I, I haven't really panned much yet, I'll, I'll probably do that as I go. But I've got everything slightly more balanced. So I may need to turn it up a little bit. And on my group, I chucked on a H comp. It's only on 38%, but it's on 0.8. It's just to add a bit of harmonics and a bit of fatness to it without turning it up too loud. Got a bit of punch. This basically lets some of the initial transients through, so you get a bit more smack and a bit, you know, lets some of the louder peaks through a little bit, so you're not completely crushing it. Um, attack, about there, about three thirds release on host, it's like an automatic, it sets to the BPM. Um, I took the threshold up a little bit, ratio is the same, analog out of the box. These change the tones. These are supposed to mimic different um, hardware. I'm not entirely sure where they are. I haven't looked at the manual. Don't really care. I just listen to it and I just flick it to which one I think sounds best. I might as well sort of demo it. Um. <laughs> Too, I think it's quite rounded. Um, right. So yeah, just a little bit, doesn't it? It's quite nice. 
Um, I was quite lucky with this compressor because on the Black Friday sales on the Cyber Monday, they were giving this out for free. Um, it's worth like hundred eight dollars, hundred thirty dollars, something. It's quite expensive. It's really nice um, compressor. Um, this didn't really seem to move much. Don't know why. Um, it's a bit strange one, but I just get by ear. So top tip for this year, kind of Black Fridays, just. Keep an eye out on any adverts on YouTube because I saw this on the YouTube advert and it said free. So, oh my god, quick, quick! And I only had a couple of hours left to get it. So, um, yeah, good, good tip. Always check Cyber Mondays because companies like this will just give stuff out for free to entice you to try their other stuff. So, yeah, keep an eye out next time. So, what I was thinking about doing is making the lead bit here. Um, so, I'm going to get on with it. I just need to close this rotation down. There we go. Put them here. I'm going to try hybrid. I'm going to not go through the presets, but I'm going to try some of the um, waveforms because I've got an idea what I want. Ooh. Yeah, so we've got the leafy on. Probably put yeah, let's, let's do uh sorry, just so you can play back some beat of it. That'll do. Oh, there we go. First things first. Minus three. Do some like that. Six back. Um, I'm probably gonna go mono. some of these wave tables to see what I've got. So it's like a belly one. I'm just going to try the belly one just to see what it sounds like. Yeah, I haven't mean, spent much time with this with this synthesizer because I I don't think it's that great for side trance, but um it's Goa. So Goa doesn't have all the squelchy stuff and it's just all simple stuff. So I thought I'll go and try and learn this synth a bit better and check out Jim and Bell. So. <laughs>
Bit sucky. Let's try another um, run for vacation. Else thinking. Uh, let's see. Okay.
is not a real difference. And meditation is the way in which we come to feel. Uh, I don't know, I like it. Um, let's try another theme. Could be a while. <laughs> Let's try and find a, a gate I like first.
don't know why this simp does this. It's so fussy on the where you put your mouse. Electrical art. Interesting. No, I'm not getting the salts I wanted, so I'm gonna try a different try a different one. What notes I want to be. Let's do.
it's too low. Listen to it on his own. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty cool. Um Right. What else can we do to it? I think we should DK it. when you overlap him with the auto on auto on sorry
thinking how this is going. Um, it's quite a good little synth, isn't it? It sounds a bit rough and rough around the edges and a bit crunchy, but I think that's what gives it its charm. As you can see, it's so easy. Like, I was faffing around the hybrid and straight onto this, boom. Yeah, must get this in. Okay, yeah, it's brilliant. These filters aren't very strong. You got like, it doesn't have much impact, but it's quite a simple synth. The LFO's got a huge range on them. Um, pretty good. If I try a different, oops, oops. I might try a different LFO. Usually you can change the screen funny. Yeah, I usually have my mouse, um, but my little dongle thing's a bit broken. I think. Um. So I need a new mouse, and um, if I had a mouse, I could right click things and stuff. It's a bit tricky on the cross pad. Alright, let's try and get more creative with um, this little lead bit. And you put it on solo, it's too much noise. Um, the problem with using QuickTime and Soundflower is for you guys to have high, higher volume, I have to have the volume quite loud, and it's quite hard on my ears. So I've got as loud as I can bear it, which is why these videos seem to be a bit quiet because I can't, well, I can't see my screen. Um, if I change these, your volume gets put down as well. So this is about as loud as I can bear it. So I'll do it for solo for a while. I just note see if I can do anything. Change the octave, it's um, shift, I think it's shift, the up and arrow, and down arrow, and then left, right, up, down.
carry on. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'm going to probably keep this pattern to do some sweepy stuff, and I'm probably going to do a, a steady pattern here. So what before I move the notes around, copy it, and paste it there somewhere. So I've got that later, and I can just um, stretch it out like or duplicate it like. I'm probably not going to have this playing at the same time as this, I'm going to probably have it elsewhere, but for the time being, I just want to make sure you can like, hear it in the mix, and I will find a place where the melody fits. Um, I might have it on the zone as well, at the end. But yeah, well, I'm just going to get a melody down, and can see if I can fit it in. I may have to readjust the notes again. So let's just carry on. Deselect again the upward arrow, long upward arrow shift, or whatever it's called. Um, flows. I 
take it to this but to a nice bar there. Length bar there. I'm gonna um shift it, pull it down. Um just to check the sound. Might sound a bit weird. Let's find out. <laughs> opposite way to the LFO. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've just changed the speed because I know as the LFA was matched to pattern perfectly, which I didn't really want. I want there to be a bit of modulation in the pattern, so I'll have to slow it down in a bit and see what it sounds like now. So what I did there, I duplicated the track, panned it right, changed my left and right verb. So there's more left verb, it's had more right, took the right verb down, and I shifted it forward three milliseconds. So it's playing slightly off time. Obviously, bumped it all those in, got a bit of highs in, then obviously turned the cutoff down so they both got a slightly different frequency range. Um, I bet I can have F on it.
Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, the volume's a bit loud, so I might have a little break. Um, but give me a bit of a rest. Um, hope that was super helpful for you. Um, I'm then going to probably place this around, find a good place to put it. And I will be back on. I will work on this thing. Here. Little art thing. I'm gonna play around with some cut off bits, maybe turn to a little leady bit at the end. Um, so I'll do that next. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's super super helpful for you. That was actually a bit easier than, than I thought it'd be. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, remember, hit that subscribe button. And I'll carry on a bit later. Um, just give me a bit of a rest. Um, see ya. Hey guys, um, made a slight mistake at the end of the video. I couldn't work out why my STA wasn't changing much. It's because I had it on this channel. And when I was wet, making it wet, I couldn't work out um, what it was supposed to be sound like when you go to work. <laughs> you can only hear just hear the delay, so I went and corrected my mistake. Um stupid yeah. It's quite hard when doing tutorials you don't quite think straight and I was I was thinking hang on it's wet things not working. But anyway, I sorted it now. Um what I was trying to do is make the delay deeper and shorter. Um. So this is the new one. That was what it was originally. Um, I don't know why it's automating, but I've already uh, key mapped it to power um, power on. So I'll switch it quickly. Difference, I hope you noticed. That's that's what I wanted to do. Um, until I was a donut and changed the wrong one, so I got slightly sh shorter delay on the lower frequency, and I've adjusted the high and low frequency, so it's not quite as so much high stuff. And I've not got the, I've lowered the ping pong a little bit, so it's not as wide as this one, just so they can separate a little bit, so it's not too messy. Um, yeah, that's what I was supposed to do, so, but yeah, sorry about that guys, um, it's been a low moment there, but we all make them, um, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>